Hello and welcome to my hot stream. Hot streaming dead in Vinland. Doing the first impressions. Early game experience as always. Let's jump into the game, the settings. As always as well, I should mention, the key was provided by the publisher. Views are my own, however. Pretty straightforward settings. Got your language, display, resolution. Usual master volume down. Though you probably couldn't tell. At least from my point of view, it's quite loud. Feedbacks. So we have a lot of different things here with the mouse, camera, etc. No idea. We're going to see how it works. Got the camera movement here. Character management, control, escape, magnetic drag. That's interesting. Let's see what that's all about. Privacy. Uh, open a web page on your navigator where you'll be able to manage. Interesting. Okay, I don't know. I've not really gotten into that. Uh, let's jump into a new game. My very first character. I guess that's fine. Name your profile. It doesn't seem like much, but you will most likely feel rewarded with a sense of pride and accomplishment. I will. My not stream? What? <laughs> yeah, really. Uh, these days with YouTube completely... Yeah. YouTube, YouTube. Not not actually advertising any of my stuff anymore. Very nice. Nice vacation? This is going to be the difficulty mode? Ah, oh, look at this. Again, survival. If survival is too harsh, try going on vacation instead. I think I will. I'll go on vacation. It is summertime. Let's do that. Experience gains, plus 20%. Okay, so we have here nice little modifiers. Yeah. Subtracting difficulties, adding bonuses to things. Cool. Survival, the way the game was intended to be. I could turn that off? What, what is the option here? No. Doesn't look like there's any other option. True Vikings don't need no checkpoints. They live from day to day, knowing perfectly well that they only have the current save. Carpe diem. So, you could change that. Yeah, it's not. So now we have save states on. Extreme conditions for the most valiant and or crazy. So, okay, so let's go to nice vacation. Those are the three modes. It wasn't really clear there. We have the true Viking saves. We got quick start jumping past the tutorial. We're gonna do the tutorial. Game mechanics will be explained once the introduction is over. If this is your first time playing in Dead in Midland, we really advise against skipping. Yes, I've definitely, because it looks like it's going to be interesting. We have... Okay. Uh, we've got default statistical. Wow, we can mess around with that. That's interesting as well. Random number generator. Let's go with that. Tutorial. and row if you want to live. We barely escaped on a stolen boat with no map and no destination. They didn't bother to follow us. No turning back. journey began. We drifted for days. Depressed. Hungry. Lost. We thought we had reached the end of the world. When the gods sent us the most terrible storm, our fate was decided. Death. Oblivion. Then, we saw it coming out of nowhere. Salvation? Or Loki's dirty tricks? The gods are playing with us. But I just know that we must survive. 
Okay. Just my family and me, it looks like. Little backstory there. Family exiles from home for reasons they cannot fathom. A longboat lost in a storm. An island from map unknown. Wind waves and thunder. The boat torn asunder. Four bodies washed ashore. <laughs> Bluehead, Bluehead, Kari, Moira, where are you? Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, I perhaps may have hit the fast button, I fast the fast forward button. Yeah, whoa, okay, so, um, something happened there. Nice, nice. Can't go back. So, yeah, Mom, great. Our home burned. New York's best storm in our asses, and Dad's perfect landing on the ro sharp rocks of an unknown island. A perfect day. Well, you could slow down the, <laughs> the last bit to see what they were talking about. Obviously, family, seeing that everyone's okay, everyone's fine. Uh, Bloodwed, I, I can comfort Carrie, which looks like my daughter. Uh, I can joke with Moira. Or Eric, my, I guess me. Eric can scold her. How do I want to proceed? Let us comfort. Whoa, okay. Let's can turn that off. We did not realize that was still on. Yeah. Yeah, click to continue right next to that button. Mm, we should explore the vicinity and see if we can find someone that can help us. Uh, I hope that someone doesn't turn out to be a frost giant, though, or worse. I don't think we'll see fantasy things here. We'll see. The family, still disoriented by the shipwreck, started to look around. They decided to walk away from the sad remains of their ship and explore the woods. The forest was as silent as themselves. The atmosphere was getting tense when... Look! Over there! A track! Kari rushed to take the path and the others followed her. They continued like this for almost an hour when they finally found the end of the path outside the forest. A wooden shack just here. Doesn't seem to be inhabited though. It's ours now. Uh, we can look for survivors. Have a look around so we don't get killed by whoever does own it. You look around for a while, when you find three piles of dusty bones. One of them has a big hole in his skull. Here they are. Bones, yes! Get those bones. And add some depression. Yes. Sweet, sweet depression. Keep that up. Mmm, tasty. Bones are good for you. Let's see. Who do you think they were? That'll add more depression. Have they died? Depression. Is the island inhabited? What do we do now? Is the island inhabited? There were three people living on the island sometimes, so we can hope there are more, but we can't be sure. We'll be sure when we have explored all of the island. Yeah, who do you think they were? How did they die? Is the island inhabited? Where what do we now do now? So again, this is gonna be a lot of text. No wonder they got that fast forward button, right? It's just a bit too fast. I wouldn't mind having some sort of slightly faster. Oh well. Who do you think they were? Who cares? They're dead now. I like you, Mora. Maybe they shipwrecked on this island like us long ago. Those are my two daughters, I guess. Uh, ba -ba -ba, uh, ba -ba. What do we do now? Now we try our best to survive. There's no hope of turning back to our home. Only fire and steel await us there. For what reason? I do not know. We must start a light new life here. It may be a land of new possibilities for us as long as we stick together. Way plus ten love. More love. Not the other girl's love, though. I'm thankful for Rick to be able to endure this hardship with my husband. My dear sister. Okay, so Moira's the sister and the daughter. Gotcha. There's the daughter there. There's the sister. Oh, man. Without my family, I wouldn't have the will to fight and live. And here we are, clicking on these texts. We're here for you, sister, as always. Mmm, more love. But I still hope this cursed island is inhabited. Time will, bleh, will be very long if it's just the four of us. Yes, it will be just the four of us. And we'll need husbands if we want to repopulate the island. Right, Kari? Uh, Kari, like what? Yeah, exactly. You can stay in bed with your dirty dreams. <laughs> I'm going to explore this island and make it mine. Well, Eric's like, I'm... There's one man here, I... Well, aside from my daughter, 
Listen, everyone, now is the time for jokes. Now is not the time for jokes. We still have plenty to do if we want to survive. We still have enough potable water for a few days if we ration ourselves, but we can't rely on that. I found two big barrels that we can use containers for our water. That's fine. Get that water. Look at that. We got water. We got food meters. Don't forget, don't drink water coming from the rivers before boiling it. You'd be sick to death. So that means we need to build a fire quickly. I only have one fire mushroom left. What is that? Is there magic? Here, take it. Tinder, okay. So I guess they use mushrooms as tinder. Good. We'll need to build a lot of things if we want to settle here. I'll set up a workshop with a few tools where we can work quietly. But we'll need resources. Wood, stone, ropes. We can scavenge wood from our ship for now. We still had a bit of wood food left on it, too. We should go fetch it. Yes, but it won't last long. We must rely on that. Looked around and found some things we could use. Check it out. Some wood. She's the hunter, of course. Rope. Rocks. Great. Good job, Carrie. Get that love. We should explore the some more. We may find food, resources, whatnot. Yeah, that sounds good. And bears. And traps. I, I agree that we should explore. But be careful. We don't know what to expect. I'm thinking bears. Let's start working on this camp. We have plenty to do. Yes, let's do it. Okay, so we're in the tutorial part. Got through the introduction. It took a while. Game saved. Let's have a look here. Dead Midland is a turn-based game, so you can always take your time to think. Each day is divided into three phases, morning and afternoon. I like the parallax. The parallax is good. You have it the intro sequence as well, in the first, the login screen, whatever, the starting screen. Each day is divided into three phases, morning and afternoon, during which, wait, three phases. Yeah, morning, afternoon, and night. There you go. During which your character perform various tasks in the camp. At night, when they discuss, eat, drink, and rest a little before the next day. Day one, we've got fire zero, two, stock out of ten, out of water. Water fire. Here are our people on the side. We're all working on shelter, it looks like. There's our water supplies. Okay. Great. Let's click that off. Your most critical resources are fire and your water. Always keep an eye on their level. Fine. Click on this button to access water and fire management. We need to start fire right now. The fire is completely off. You can light the fire using five foot wood and one tinder. Only got one tinder though. Once lit, it, you'll need to feed it some wood when its intensity decreases. Be careful though. Without fire, the family won't hold for long. And tinder is pretty scarce. It's, yeah, if it's mushrooms. I guess we're going to have to click it. There we go. They also can survive drinking non-potable, potable, potable, I've never even pronounced this word in my water, so it needs to be purified into potable water by boiling it. Notice the increase of fire intensity in the process. I'm going to say potable. Ah, it just sounds awful, doesn't it? Notice the decrease of fire intensity in the process. These will definitely require some fine-tuned management. Yeah, making water, of course. Okay. Camp condition. We become what we behold. We shape our tools and thereafter our tools shape us. This will be covered later in this tutorial and is unavailable in the meantime. <laughs> Thanks. So, we can still look there. We got cooking pot to build, water supplies, and shelter. Okay. Uh, 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 we just did it. Guess we had to still do the purify water business. How much water do I want to purify? We have one. Can we do it again? Now we're out of water. So we got that into potable water. I could feed the fire as well. Now it's time to assign some tasks to our characters. There are still some supplies left in our shipwreck. So much to take care of scavenging it. Yeah, let's send somebody. Ah, cool. So we just jumped to this map. What do we have? Do we have different maps? Can I access the maps? Yes! Way so here we have a, we have different maps. Nice, look at the ruins. Where the heck are we? There are Native American things here. All the characters can be accessed through the sidebar. Yeah, let's pop that open. Let's who are we gonna send? Okay, search slot. Where are you? Hey, there's a search slot. Pop. Great, we'll see how later how to execute all these assigned tasks. Once everyone has something to do, someone should take care of fetching some more water. Okay. Jump over to this place. Drag Bloodwed and drop her into the fetch water slot. 
Where you at? Blood, 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 blood. There we are. You definitely need to upgrade your camp to be able to s decently live there. Workshop enables the crafting activity and contains many ways to improve your camp. You can build new activity stations and also upgrade existing ones. Yep, there's the camp. So the camp's where the little temple is, with the little... Maybe it's not Native American, maybe it's just Viking style. Assign Eric to the craft slot. Who's craft plant? No, we're two, two. Let's do this first. Pop him down. Now we can choose. Some stations have additional options available. Access them by clicking on station. Click where to choose a crafting plan. What do we got? What do we got? Wood is a pretty basic resource. Useful to keep the fire blazing and craft some good things. More things. It's probably a good idea to build a lumber camp. Do it. Wait. Okay. So we got a tree here. Crafting tree. Requirements here on the right. Five. It looks like five out of ten. Not sure. Yeah. We've got ten currently. It's going to use up all our rope. And we're going to build this thing. The island is covered in a beautiful forest, so finding trees is not a problem. But cutting trees and bringing them back to camp is enable wood cutting activity for one character. So this gives us the ability to get more wood. So we need this. Boom, it's being done, or is it done already? Camp condition is, yeah, 0% at the moment. It's gonna take a couple days. Click here to have a global view of the camp condition to be able to repair the stations. Every station apart from shipwreck and expedition camp deteriorate a bit every night and every time they're being used by some characters. Makes sense. Lower condition means lower efficiency, so be sure to repair them frequently. Yep. Workshop. We could repair it now. But what will it require? Stone. And the last of my stone. Hope that was what I was supposed to do there. Doesn't really tell you. It's fine. Really need that much. Okay. Last but not least, exploration. We're going to send the girl out. Remember, the family just arrived on an unknown island. Who knows what they will find? Resource dangers, yeah, maybe even people. Ah, cool. Nice ruins. So, yeah, this is definitely. A bit of abandoned Viking territory. Sankari, yes. We knew it was going to be her. She seems the most wild. Okay, exploration here on the right. Got a little 58. I'm not sure what that is. Different numbers here. By the way, all the characters have something to do. You just need to let the time flow and observe the outcomes of each activity. Areas explored. Water, chance of encounter, 36%. Random area. Nice. Cool. A lot of, I like the stats. I like seeing things. And then obviously I like seeing how they work. So hopefully we'll be able to see that as well. Okay, now we hit the next, the turn. It's the turn based part. She's harvesting wood and rope from the ship. Good, the sail. And she's doing some fishing. Nice. Ah, she's making ointment as well. Didn't expect any of that. She's finding some flowers. She's a bit of a, a herbalist. Oh no, more depression. He's using that. Okay, so they use what they what they what they need every time they do like part of the build. Getting tired. No depression though. Thank God. Okay, what's she gonna find? She's drinking some water, meadow, that's good. New area discovered. I'm guessing that's the meadow. Forest. Good. Looks like Kari just finished exploring a new area. The island, let's have a look. Ah, cool. So we have a map. Proper map. Look at the newly discovered area marked with a red exclamation mark. We're probably just going to do the tutorial today. This is really in-depth. Clicking on an unexplored area will mark it as a target for upcoming explorations. We'll probably do that in a second then. Let's have a look at the meadow. Yeah, every area contains exactly one thing you can interact with. Find it and click on it to display all the... I'm fine with that. I'm happy with like this. It's it's nice, this sort of retro take on a survival game. Most of these can only be used for a fixed amount of time. They're like wheat. And the red wine ones indicate that you won't be able to do any other actions afterwards. Please note that performing these actions won't affect the time of the day, so you can do as many times as you wish as you can. You can also choose to keep some for later. Click on that wheat patch. Hunt here? We can do a little bit of everything. Who will perform this action? I'm not quite sure. 
if she's done. She's out here? You search for the best looking sprouts to bring them back to camp. Grab a fistful of wheat and carefully cut the wheat to the ground. Once you have enough, you tie the bundles into sheets. Yeah, that's fine. She can I can send her back out afterwards. So she'll go back to camp, I assume. Jump back and see what happens. I was assuming she'd be back here. Maybe she's not. Maybe I don't need to. Okay. Uh -huh. Let's go explore. Let's hit the map. Ooh, it says 42%. Let's just let it go then. Maybe it'll do it on its own. It's going to finish off this 42% area, perhaps. Have a look around. She's still doing her thing. Item scavenged times 70%. Nine uses left. Ah, okay, there we go. Nine uses left. So we know how much he should be halfway through. She is fetching water. Let's have a look at our water management. So on. How are we doing for fire? Let's do some more water. She's because people are drinking water, obviously, as they work. Got enough wood. Yeah, let's pop the wood. Yeah, we're good for wood. Okay. Keep that up. Yeah, good, good, good. Excellent. So it's pretty manageable. This is, it is easy mode. Anything else to check out? Let's have a look. Some items are usable, which means they can be used instantly. Any character, these are very helpful in keeping them up and running, so you should definitely remember to use them. You can access the use item pop-up via the sidebar. L. Didn't really see any items to be used. Let's have a look at what they can use. Ah, we've got some herbs. Try using an item on the character who needs it the most. Or because you have a personal preference, up to you after all. Yeah, of course. Ah, okay, minus depression. And the other one is minus 10 sickness. Who's the most depressed? Let's have a look. How do we see the depression? <laughs> depression is the hangman's noose. 12, 24, she's got the most. Let's give her some of this Angelica. And it's dropped down to 13, so that's good. This is sickness. Nobody's really sick at the moment. In order to manage properly the family's well-being and efficiency, your most valuable asset is the character sheet where you can find all the pieces of information you need about each character. Access to character sheet via the sidebar. Yeah. So, whoa. Deep. Unexpectedly deep. Look at this. We've got stats on top of stats. The health of a character is composed of five distinct parts. Fatigue, hunger, sickness, injury, depression. Wow. Okay, if you need to find her, you need to put an item just directly from this. So you can just jump around. You don't have to go through each, especially when the screens get a bit crazy. Perhaps. I don't know if you're going to get a lot of characters. Innate skills. Strength 29. That seems like she's fatigued. Injury. She's had... No, she's not injured. Just like, like fatigue that's got her. And constitution's the same, right? Yep, fatigue. Yeah, that's fine. She's the stealthy one. Uh, you could go through all this if you want. It looks like for their feelings of depression, you've got various different stats here that help. Concentration. She's good at hunting. That's why we're sending her out for exploration. And exploration, their endurance and such. Cool. I like the stats. Fight. Yep. Fight-related traits. And the relationships with her father. Not so great with her mother or... Oh, right. Okay, she's, she's definitely her father's daughter there. Here are the traits. Can't add more, can I? Can't stay in place. Pessimistic. Gosh. Impulsive. Nice vacation. And relentless. And there's the bio. You can go through all of these. You can see level one. So we're going to be leveling these. Really deep RPG. I love it. I love... Again, it's that sort of retro... You've got these screens, you've got a bit of a click action going on. This is stuff that we saw in the 90s when I was first playing computer games. You've got this sort of setup with the party, again, really old, but then you've got survival, which is very much in vogue right now. I like that a lot. Every task in the camp is associated to a skill, and a character with a higher skill will yield better results. You should now be able to plan the next phase of your own, leave the characters to the current tasks, or swap them around, and depending, yeah. Once everything seems fine, click on the next button to end the phase. 
And I'm pretty sure everybody's doing what they can do. Because the, obviously, the game has put them in those places for those reasons. Let's hit the last and see what happens. Get the last bit of scavenged wood and so on. And she's got like, what, eight more of those? So she's got eight more days or... Like, actually, it's three segments, so we're going to be going to night now. It should, I really should show night before I call it. Level up. Depression up. Damn. She's not easy to please. I hope she found some more Angelica. I wasn't paying attention. Let's see. Camp's finished. You finished crafting something. Lumber camp. Uh, yep, yep. Enables wood cutting activity. I'll have to see who's best for that. Oh, there it goes. He needs to get some sleep at some point. Fatigued. Yeah, getting to no night now. That's good. Yeah, we'll go through one night at least to show what, how that goes. And yeah, I think she got that coordinate. So that forest area cleared. Beach is working on next. I like that. That is cool. The sun is fading. Time for the family to make the final arrangements. <laughs> wow, really? For the night, during which they will chat, drink some water, eat a bit, and sleep. There's nothing set in stone, but a good rule of thumb is to have some food, approximately one potable water per person, and to be sure that the fire intensity is high enough so that it won't die down during their sleep. Just click on the end day button when everything is taken care of. Okay. First, though, I want to have a look at this new area. This area here. Ooh. So I was hoping there'd be like a little bit of fantasy. And obviously we got a little bit of fantasy. Fruit Grove. Just gonna gather that fruit. Lie in wait. Cool. There's so many things she could do. I'm gonna gather some food though. She's gonna go grab some. We pluck the best looking fruit from the surface of the bush. We see other ripe ones further in. Untouched by animals. Uh oh. Does that mean there's more here to click on? Or does it mean... Yeah. Yeah, let's take a risk. Oh, we failed! You got a hand handful when you feel something bite your hand. You quickly take it out. Oh, and now we have the injury. We're going to have to fight. Your hand feels a bit numb now. A few minutes later, you start feeling dizzy. Yes. Bloody snake. Death is coming for you. We're already, we're already screwed it, haven't we? Poisoned. Five days. And that's what you get for taking too much of a risk. Jump back to her. Um, we're gonna use an item. What's this? Minus ten fatigue, plus five hunger. No, we're gonna get some of this. Minus ten sickness. But she is poisoned, so that probably is going to increase her sickness every day. One to three plus yeah, poisoned. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, overnight evolution plus one to plus three. Damn. Okay, so that's that's interesting. It could get worse. We will find out shortly. Uh, let's check the fire. Make sure that's raging. It's at 100 percent. Get some water going. That's how much water we need, I think, for the night. I'm gonna use up all that bad water. That's probably enough. There we go. And I think we're good. We haven't looked at the new area. What is it? There it is. We haven't checked out the lumber camp. Um, that's something you'll have to do on your own. I'm not going to check it out today. If anyone's interested in me doing more, I can check it out again. Leave a comment down below. Character sheet. She's leveled up. Uh, we can have a look. Level up. Choose a new trait from Mora. Well, she's a suspected witch. <laughs> Bloodthirsty Stabber. Uh, crafting experience. We haven't even looked at a character sheet, so that was a bit pre mature, I think. Reroll the traits. Ah, so this was rolled. This was just random. So you'll lose uh, minus 20% to XP gains. Crafting plus 50%. I'm not sure what I'm going to use her for, but she's a witch, so herbs would be great. Agility, initiative, sickness, resistance. I could be sending her out after she's done. Minus 5 to concentration skill, XP gains. So I'm again. There's a trade-off there. Might be a problem. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be using for crafting. 
but I kind of do want sort of medicine, so let's go with that. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. That's fine. We already saw that. Is that it? Great. She was weak of body already. She had a blood phobia, annoying, and... Wow. Well, she already had a plus 50% to get experience gains, and now she's got even more for crafting. So, I think she can... Yeah, healing. Not so great crafting, but maybe for the things we need. Beast handling, she might do okay. You'll have to dig through that stuff yourself before, obviously, you level things up. She is a witch! Mystic Healer Witch. She does have some abilities. Some attacks. Curse. Pray to the gods. Okay, we haven't gotten to combat yet. So, it'll be interesting. I think we're good to go. Okay, that's enough for today. Come everyone, it's time to grab a bite and try a sleep try to sleep a little. Not sure what we're eating. You can start without me. I want to consolidate this shelter some more. Shouldn't overdo it, Eric. The shadows are already dancing with us. No, really, I can. I must do it. It's my fault if you... Not again, Eric. We already discussed that topic. You don't have to take the blame alone for what is happening to us. M minus love. <laughs> but you heard like... What? What? But you heard like me, honey. The men that burned our home were after me. They screamed, kill the bastard. Ah, uh, but you heard like me, honey. I need a comma there. It's confusing. I'm the bastard. It's my burden to bear. Ah, we're going to get this story. So as you play, you'll get the story. You'll get more depression. 30% depression. Damn. Why'd they call you that? That's a story I'd like to hear if we weren't close to dying from starvation, of course. We should make traps. Force will be full of tiny meat on legs, says the girl bit by a snake. And full of big dangers. I'm afraid you'd stay here with me. There's plenty to do at the camp. In your dreams, Mom. Ah, uh, okay. That's uh, probably not what she would have said back then. I'm gonna remove some love from you. <laughs> that, that is an interesting mechanic. Okay, we have some axes. We have some bags. We're, go we're good to cut trees in the forest from now on. Make lots of noise. I'll let you take care of that. I don't have the muscle for it. So we know who Eric's going to be cutting down trees. You can help two more. Uh, you must strengthen your body. You're too weak. It's true. She is weak. I'm the sister who got the mind and you got the muscle. Oh, everybody's really hating on each other today. And I got both. Oh, aha. Uh -huh. Sure you do, child. Yes. Daddy's girl. There you go. Okay, your trees are tiresome, but hauling them back to camp even more so. Anyone can help, but don't overdo it if you're too tired. You'll just end up hurting yourself. That's great. That's an interesting mechanic, too. I just want to remind everyone that wood is our main resource. Yeah, like, they're not going to realize that. It's for me. For crafting and for keeping our fire. So we shouldn't over look keeping a steady supply of wood. Okay, build your camp. Good. One out of 14. So it's one part. Build your camp. Two out of 14. Second part. Dehydrated. I made sure there was lots of water. Yeah, there's tons of water here. Every night, the characters will most likely be dehydrated. The more potable water you give them, the more likely they will rehydrate. Staying dehydrated means penalties and dehydration will worsen after the next day. They reach dehydrated four, and they're still not rehydrated that night. They will die. Drag and drop their allocated ration on each of them. Oh god, that's hilarious! And finally, click on the next button. I'm going to give you extra water. Uh, no, I'm not. I could give 1.25. That would be that would be five water. Let's perhaps just keep one. Let's see what happens. Ah, is this for two groups? I'm confused. Maybe just these people, that because they're dehydrated one? Uh, let's find out. Oh. Okay, I'm not sure if that's going to work for both of them. Let's see what happens when I hit this. I could easily afford two each. Yeah, it's to everyone. That's, that should go one each, you would think, right? We'll see. I have no idea. I'm not sure what happens if you over-water your people as well. Good. Dehydration goes down, disappears. Maybe I was overdoing it. Who knows? Share the food. Oh, we do have some berries, and we have some fish. 
They also need to split whatever edible stuff they have. Different food have different effects. Most of the food is perishable, so a good part of it will not or will rot before the end of the night. They might be better off getting the most value out of it right now. Drag and drop food on each of them until satisfied. And proceed to the end of the night. Okay, until satisfied. Well, you're not going to get very satisfied with this. Hunger minus eight. Yeah. And not the evil witch. She got some fish, though. Okay, she's at zero. Zero. Which you suffer. Oh, wait. Yeah. Good, good, good. Which gets to suffer. Um, it says here... 2% nausea, 20% food... Ah, uh, 50%. So 20 to 50% of the food will turn into raw food each night. I'm not going to waste... How much is it? 8 to 12 hunger on 3. So I think we're good. Hit next. Sickness up one from poisoning. He's got a headache. Great. Four days of headache. Uh, please go to sleep. Some food's gone rotten during the night, of course. During the, day, during the night, today's weather is sunny. Very nice. Fatigue, minus 18, minus 9. Fire intensity, great, 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 great. Right. I'm going to leave it there. Some things going on. Something preventing station from actions. Oh, no. Leave it there, though. Do check out the game if you're interested. I've left a link in the description to both the Twitter and the Steam. Check that out. You can check me out every Saturday, 7 p.m. Central European. Stream in a new indie game. Half an hour, an hour, however I feel. Do check those out. If you're interested in card games, I also do a fair amount of card games. And the more I'll be doing this summer, so do check out those as well. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.